Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Beckwith and I'm going to be teaching ELA 7 and 8. As it said in my bio, this is my first year at Mac Bay, so I wanted to take a minute to introduce myself. This is my family. I have a son, Brandon. He is six. My daughter is Caroline. She's three. Uh, they both go to All Saints Academy in Grand Rapids, where my wife, Liz, uh, is going to teach middle school science this year. Before uh, coming to Mac Bay, I taught at two schools. One was in New Hampshire, uh, an all-boys middle school boarding school called Cardigan Mountain School. That's actually a picture of the school there. And then I also taught in Utah at a school called the Waterford School. We really enjoyed the opportunity to live in both places and, and kind of see the country, but we are very excited to be back home in West Michigan. Some of my favorite things, um, of course, reading. If I have any spare time, I really enjoy reading. Um, anything and everything, pretty much. Uh, I also have a picture here of the Grand Canyon because my family and I, we enjoy traveling to national parks. We've seen 13 of them so far. Um, our favorite is definitely Arches National Park in Moab, Utah. Uh, we have a goal of maybe seeing all of them, but some of them are kind of tough to get to. Uh, I also have a picture here of Legend of Zelda because I love video games. I've been playing them since I was four years old with my Super Nintendo. Um, and ever since then, I, I love games, especially adventure games like Zelda. I also enjoy tabletop games, uh, RPG role-playing games like Dungeons and & Dragons. And for sports, I like mostly baseball and basketball. For baseball, I'm a Tigers fan, even though that's been pretty painful the last few years. Um, basketball, I don't have a particular team, but I had to include this picture of Mo Bamba from the Orlando Magic uh, because my wife and I actually taught him in eighth grade at Cardigan Mountain School. And through a strange series of events, I ended up as his eighth grade baseball coach, uh, which is an interesting story. If you wanna to try to get me off topic someday, you can ask me about Mo Bamba. Some books I love, uh, here's a few, Salem's Lot by Stephen King. Um, that's the first book that really got me into reading. It scared me and kept me up um, all night and I loved that feeling. And since then I've just been reading like mad. Um, Lincoln and the Bardo, The Big Roads, which is a book about the history of highways, uh, which sounds really boring. Like I said, I read everything, um, but I found it just fascinating. And then uh, Brandon Sanderson is probably one of my favorite authors. We'll see a couple more of his books here. Some other books I like. I recently read The Poet X, and it is a novel told uh, through poems. And I was just so impressed by every poem. Um, a really great story. Um, Brandon Sanderson, Steelheart, another, another book by him. Like I said, he's probably my favorite author. Um, Ghost by Jason Reynolds and Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. If you want to know more about any of these books or um, if you have any book recommendations, let me know. Um, I love sharing books and I love um, getting new recommendations. A quick get to know you game. Um, here's two truths and a lie about me. See if you can spot the lie. Um, number one, I have run a half marathon in three states. Number two, I can read Latin and ancient Greek. And number three, I used to perform stand-up with an improv comedy group. Which one do you think is the lie? If you guessed number one, you are correct. Uh, I can't run more than two miles without getting bored. Um, so I leave the half marathon running to my wife. Um, I can read Latin and ancient Greek. I actually taught Latin um, before coming here. And uh, I did, in college, perform stand-up with an improv comedy group. Again, some good stories with that one. And I want to finish with two pictures from our most recent trip to Moab um, in southern Utah. The first one is came when my family, um, we were on a hike through the desert, and suddenly we came around this corner, and the sun was hitting the red sandstone and these trees and bushes in just this amazing way. It's kind of hard to capture in the picture. And we just had to take a second to sit and, and enjoy it. Um, and I kind of want you to keep that in mind as we go through the school year, that you never know what amazing thing um, might show up around the corner. And when you do come across it, take the time to really sit and enjoy it. Um, and then the other picture here is uh, us at a formation called Delicate Arch. Um, you can see us standing underneath it to kind of get a sense of how big this is. In order to get to this arch, you have to do a three and a half mile hike, mostly uphill, sometimes walking along cliff edges. It's pretty tiring. It can be pretty scary at some points, um, but you're rewarded with this amazing view. Um, and that's another thing I want you to keep in mind that 
there are some great things um, to discover, uh, but sometimes you got to put in the work and it may seem like it may seem like the work is too much at times, but if you kind of persevere and, and keep going through it, um, you can be rewarded with something great like this. So thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to let me know. I look forward to meeting